Hey guys, today I have a try on jeans haul for you where I will be attempting to find the perfect pair of jeans, which I actually think I did in this video and maybe more than one. And you guys might already know that I do struggle to find jeans that fit me well and have the right cut. So throughout this entire try on haul, I'm going to share all my best tips and tricks on what characteristics make them look and fit bad and then what ones make them fit really well and look good. So that way you guys can find some perfect jeans for yourself. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I know many of you guys are aware of how often I talk about the app ShopTag in my videos. I use it almost every single day for all of my online shopping, including getting some of the jeans for this video. Several pairs of these jeans are very popular styles. In fact, one of them, when I first saw them, they were in the newly added section on ASOS and I really liked them, so I ordered a pair. But when I tried them on, I found out they ran small. So when I went to order a bigger size, I saw that they had already sold out. I think within about three or four days. So I just saved them to my shop tagger app in the size that I wanted. And I think within 24 hours, I got a notification on my phone that they were back in stock. So I grabbed them, not gonna spoil which ones, but I think these ended up being my favorite pair of all. So I was so glad that I got them. And now I think they're sold out again. <laughs> so to use this app yourself, all you have to do is install the browser button on your desktop. When you find an item online that you want to save, you can just click the shop tagger button in the corner, select your size, color and what you'd like to be notified of. I always say any price change, click save and you're done. And here you can see all my items saved right here. So now for any items you have saved to your app, you'll be notified via email if it goes on sale, if it's low in stock or if it comes back in stock. If you download the mobile app, you'll also get push notifications to your phone. And I highly recommend that way because it just feels the most instant. I also use the list system to keep my shopping organized and it's really handy for separating things for yourself or gifts for others. I've been partnering with ShopTagger for almost three years now. My first video with them was in 2016. So I'm very passionate about this app. I love to talk about it and share it with you guys as I know you are going to find it so useful and you are going to love it as much as I do. So if you would like to download ShopTagger, I will put a link right at the top of the description box below. Now let's get into trying on the jeans. And if I forget to mention a particular brand or style of jeans, I will list all all of them in the description box below. Be sure to look out for my tips. I'm going to disperse them through this try on portion of the video. And one more thing to mention is that I don't have them all physically here to hold up for you guys, but I do have try on clips and photographs of them. The reason for that is some of them have a strict returns period. So I did have to return them on time before filming this video. Starting with the most expensive jeans, we have the Subi playback jeans. Subi are actually one of my favorite denim brands because the denim is so soft and so high quality. You really do get what you pay for. I thought they would be the perfect high rise baggy jeans because the leg looked nice and wide and the rise looked really high. And that brings me to my first tip, probably the most important tip of all, how to figure out if the rise will be high enough, check the height, of the model. Most websites these days do list the height and measurements of the model so you can get an idea of fit, but it's really helpful for figuring out how high waisted they're going to be on you. If the model height is the same or taller than you and they fit high rise on them, chances are they will fit a true high rise on you as well. Only thing is the waist was a little big on these, which is an ongoing theme throughout this video. I do tend to find that while jeans fit my hips and butt and legs really well, they don't fit my waist. And I feel that's very common for a lot of people, but I wasn't worried about it because there were other things about these jeans that I didn't like. So the length, for example, it just seems a little bit long and I feel like it bunches in a very uncool dad-like way at the ankles if I'm wearing sneakers. And I know the dad looks is in but it just had this kind of 90s dad Jerry Seinfeld look which I know some people would find cool but on me and for the kind of outfits I'm wearing I just didn't think it worked I feel like these would look cooler if they had a raw cutoff hem perhaps so definitely customizable I tried cuffing them but didn't really help that much maybe a slight improvement and something else worth noting is how the crutch on this size 
kind of creases in a weird way. It just really draws a lot of attention and it looks like it's not sitting right. And all my friends and family who saw me try these on agreed that it looked kind of weird. Next, I have the same pair of jeans, but in a much bigger size. I think this is two or three sizes bigger because I thought maybe I could get these really baggy and then have them taken in at the waist, which I have done for many other pairs of pants. They are super high-waisted, especially because they are a bigger size. However, I still wasn't sold on this pale denim in the baggier fit, especially the fading towards the center of the legs. I also feel that this particular baggy fit was a little unflattering on me and I'm sure you guys can agree. I think it just made me look bulkier than I actually was. Next up, we have the weekday lash jeans, which I do have here to hold up for you guys. These are a great fit on the legs. I feel like they are just the right amount of baggy and they have this nice bagginess on the back of the thigh, which I really like and it was a must for these jeans. The only thing is the waist, again, is just too big. However, I think I could get away with not altering them. Let me know what you guys think. I would love your opinion. I don't wanna have to rely on belting them. Sometimes the extra room in the waist can actually be handy if you just want a super comfy pair of jeans that you can eat in and lounge around in. You don't have to worry about it digging into the waist. And here is my next tip. Don't assume that the jeans are not right for you just because they don't fit perfectly in the waist. In an ideal world, we would all have our clothing custom made and tailored to fit our bodies because the standard sizing system just does not fit all human body shapes, even though yes, sometimes we do find that perfect fit right off the rack. So the next best option is finding a pair of jeans that are almost a perfect fit, then spending a little bit of money or even spending some of your own time and skills, having them taken in at the waist or rehemming or whatever you need to do to get that perfect fit. Next, we have the Pull and Bear Ripped Mom Jean, or should I say, mom jean. These are the first example of jeans that fit terribly. They were so ugly, like really fugly. And why is that? Because I chose jeans that were high rise on a model that is much shorter than me. And I actually don't remember if I did this intentionally, like for educational purposes for this video, or if it was a genuine accident. You guys can clearly see how awkward it looks when something is not a true high rise. But on top of that, they are also just too big on the waist. However, the way they styled them on the model really appealed to me though. I thought it looked nice with the really chunky belt. But when they arrived, the rips looked so intentionally placed and they had those ugly horizontal marks at the hips, which I'm just really not a fan of. And also on the really big rips across the thighs, those little white strips of fabric going horizontally, they're kind of like stringy. And if you bend your knee, they dig into your thigh and it's quite uncomfortable. If you guys wear a lot of ripped jeans, maybe you are used to this. Please let me know in the comments. Next, I have the Collusion Straight Leg Jeans. I've actually got these ones here to hold up. And I'll also show you guys the detailing on the hem. Now, I should not have been so lenient with that height rule that I talked about earlier because of course they ended up not being high-waisted enough on me. You really need to stick with the model being either exactly your height or taller like I talked about earlier. You can tell that this isn't high rise enough because first of all, it's not sitting at the very smallest part of my waist. But another giveaway is that it's only just covering my belly button. And now for my next tip to get a good high-waisted fit, the rise should be a couple of centimeters higher than where your belly button sits. However, this does not apply to all body types. So another version of this tip could be make sure it fits at the very smallest part of the waist or even a little bit higher. These jeans did not have the looser fit on the thigh that I wanted, as I mentioned earlier. The shade of this denim is also too even and it's a very dark and very blue denim. However, if these had an amazing fit, I would let something like the color slide. And lastly is the hem. So <laughs> I really didn't like this from the start. I must have thought this would be tolerable and I do quite like the raw hem look, but this is just too fuzzy and frayed. So it doesn't really suit my personal style. I had to try the same jeans in a size up as well because I always like to try the bigger size just to see if, you know, there's a possibility for alteration there. Because here's another tip, sometimes ordering a size up can actually make a pair of jeans that you really like fit higher on the waist because it just has that little bit of extra room. You can hitch them up. Of course, you will have to belt them or take them in as we've been discussing in this video. However, for these ones, they were still just too low in the rise. And the way that they fit across the hips 
as well is super unflattering on me. I don't know if you guys agree, but it made me look very boxy. Next, we have the weekday row jeans, which on ASOS were described as a slim straight jean. When I ordered these, I had already tried on that previous pair of weekday jeans that I already showed and I love them so much that I thought I should try more from the brand. And I do really like weekday as a brand. They make a lot of really nice pieces, like my favorite hoodie. The rise on these is pretty good though. As you can see, it looks really high here, even as I'm just holding them up. But the only way that they do look like this is if I hitch them up all the way because they are on the baggier side and I would have to have them altered for sure because they tend to slip down super easily. I've thrown out the exposure, but you can see here as well, the rise is higher at the sides, but lower in the middle. And this is where you want it to be the highest. These remind me a lot of the Subi playback jeans that I showed at the start, but these have a much nicer shade of denim and a nicer wash. When they are also hitched up a little bit more, they made my legs look really long. So I think that's quite flattering. And then they also don't bunch at the ankles quite as much. I think they would look also really nice with a knee slit and some customizations. And next we have the jeans in black denim because ideally I would like a pair in both blue and black so I have options depending on the occasion or the outfit. First we have the Cheap Monday Crinkle Denim. I was impressed at how high these jeans were. They had a really nice true high rise and it was also nice and tight at the waist. I also like the slit at the knee and I really like slits that kind of go halfway through the leg so it creates an illusion like sometimes it's just two halves of a jean floating over your leg. And here's my next tip. In the close-ups, you'll see that the black has this effect in the wash, these little sort of lines. And I'm a little on the fence about this because it does make them look more worn and vintage, but sometimes these features can look just too intentional. And I think I mentioned that when I was talking about those ripped jeans earlier. For me, it's important for the fading to not look too intentional. Now, the thing is with rips and tears is that they are pretty obviously put there, like a slit in the knee, it's clearly been put there. I don't think you're gonna get a slit that straight so naturally. These are also a 32 inch inseam, so that's the inner length of the leg. And I think it's probably too short on me, especially if I intend to wear these in cooler months. And for comparison, of course, I tried a size up. <laughs> and these are definitely more comfortable. You can definitely just see that my waist does not look quite as snatched as it did for the smaller pair. <laughs> Next pair of black denim are the Collusion Mom Jeans. Now, I actually sized up in these jeans because they didn't have a full denim size range. For example, usually jeans go 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and so on. Whereas these ones went 26, 28, 30, 32. So they skipped those in between sizes. So to be on the safe side, I ordered the bigger size and these ended up just being much too big in the waist. But I do really like the baggy fit of the legs, so maybe I get them altered. This leads me to my next tip and this is an important one. Jeans always stretch a little. Oh my gosh, guys, it got so dark. I need to finish this video. Ah. I'm sorry if it looks a little bit gloomy towards the end of the video. So anyway, jeans always stretch a little with or without elastane in the fabric content. After you've worn them for a few hours, they will soften and give a little. So that's why sales assistants will often tell you to go for the smaller size that still fits you. And then they usually go back to their regular size after you have washed them. But for me, I love comfy. So sometimes I tend to ignore this rule. These have a really nice width throughout the leg and it's quite flattering in the sense that the width of the lower leg balances very well with the thighs as sometimes a tapered leg, especially if it's too tapered, it can make the thighs look wider than they are. Just like those really nasty jeans that I showed earlier. But for these jeans, I will definitely be ordering a size down to compare, which I have already done. I will insert those clips right here. Future Sophie here with a voiceover. So here we have the same size as I showed previously, but with a longer inseam. We still have that nice loose fit through the leg. These fit my height much better, but as expected, the waist is still too big. This pair are a size smaller with the longer inseam. They fit my waist much better as well as my height. Only thing is they aren't as baggy as I might prefer, but they still look good and they will stretch out. 
But the deal breaker for both of these might be that the zip is too short, which I discovered when I was trying on the smaller pair. They are very hard to get on the body. And this same thing might happen if I got the waist taken in on the bigger pair. You're probably wondering what I mean when I say the zip is too short, but I will elaborate on that when I show you guys the final pair of jeans coming up next. Last pair are these Collusion Utility Jeans. I just realized I ordered quite a few pairs from this brand. I guess they must have had a lot of high-waisted styles. And these are a bonus pair. They have a super wide leg. They are definitely not the everyday classic high-waisted jean that I'm looking for. I just thought they would be fun to try on and show you guys. They are super 90s, even early 2000s. I'd say they've got that really big wide leg, but they fit so badly. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why this is such an important tip. Always check the length of the zipper relative to the total length of the rise. This is extremely important because if the zip is too short on a high rise garment, there is no way in hell you'll be able to get these onto your body. The opening to get your legs in will be way too small. When I first got these, I got them in my actual size and I couldn't even get them on. They got completely stuck at the hips. Now, if you do have more of a straight body, like your hips and your waist are the same size, you may not have this problem. Again, this doesn't apply to all body types. However, it still applies to you in the sense that a zipper that is too short, where am I? pointing to. If the zipper is too short relative to the rise, it also just looks terrible. As you can see in the clips, it looks so silly. It's completely disproportionate to the rise and the contrast stitching on these jeans just highlights it and makes it look worse. So let's just say you size up because you think, well, if I size up, at least I can get them over my hips. Then the waist will be swimming on you just like it is right here for me. As you can see in the clips, I had to order a much bigger size just to get these jeans on to show you guys. And they do not fit at all. And it's just, I'm not gonna have these altered. Just no, I'm, <laughs> it's not happening. These are also really heavy. So I feel like they wouldn't be ideal for travel because they would probably add over a kilo to my luggage. Did I find the perfect jeans? I kind of think I did, or I think I can make them perfect. My favorite pair are definitely the weekday lash jeans. I've already been wearing them actually, and they are just so comfy. Overall, I think a really nice versatile pair. But anyway, be sure to leave your comments and criticisms on these jeans in the comments below. Which ones do you like? Which ones don't you like? And do you guys have any jeans fitting tips to share with me that I didn't talk about and to share with everyone else, of course. If you like try on hauls and informative fashion videos like this, I make them all the time. So be sure to subscribe and of course, turn on notifications Notifications. My Instagram and Twitter handles will be right here on the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.